Hey, honey? Yeah, what's up? Barista Fed, and I am here today to talk to you about Tenzo's matcha mixer and matcha powder. Um, I actually lucked out. I was at the cafe a little while back when the rep for the local rep for Tenzo stopped in to give the cafe a uh, sample of their matcha. I was able to actually snag one of these sample kits as well. I told them, you know, like I got a YouTube channel, love to have something for a product review. So, uh, this was given to me for free by the company. It's a representative, uh, did not pay for this. So, honest review at this moment. Uh, I did, I, I have not had their matcha yet. I actually used, excuse me, I gotta pick up the spoon. So in the kit comes a measure, measuring spoon. Like I said, I haven't, I haven't personally drank their matcha yet. I have used it to make an ice matcha at the cafe, and trust me, it mixes up so much better than anything else. So from a visual standpoint, I'm impressed, but you know, gotta try that sample. Inside the box, there is the directions for how to make this. Uh, they're saying to, for an ice matcha, to basically use uh, one teaspoon of their Tenzo matcha powder along with three ounces of hot water and then top it off with milk and ice. I'm out of ice at the moment so I'm just going to make this be like a little short one. Uh, there is their matcha mixer. This actually comes with batteries so that's cool. Get some free batteries. Uh, I've got the organic ceremonial matcha. I am going to hang on to this for a later, use it for a special occasion. Just gonna try out their basic matcha because you know, we know the organic ceremonial is gonna be fancier, it's gonna be better. So let's try their baseline stuff. And let's get this mixer out of here. This is a godsend for making, uh, when anybody asks for an ice uh, cappuccino, which is, as a barista, is my least favorite thing to make because you know, you don't have the the capabilities to do frothing of cold milk uh, unless you've got one of these uh, handy dandy wands. It comes with a nice little stand for it so it can sit there, look all pretty on your countertop. You know, like that. Not the uh, damaging the tines as they're sitting in your bouquet of. Uh, kitchen utensils. So yeah, I'm gonna get the batteries in this and get ready to uh, make us an ice matcha. All right, so I got my matcha all unboxed. I got my batteries in my mixer. And I got all my ingredients out here in order to make my ice matcha. Mm, I love the smell of matcha. It's got this really nice, uh, clean, <sighs> it smells like summer. It's it's very earthy, very green, very, not so much like fresh cut grass, but it does have that, that hay on a warm summer day smell to it. So very much a fan of this. Very green too. So we're just gonna scoop out one teaspoon to there. I've already pre-measured my three ounces of hot water using my measuring cup. And we're just going to take the immersion little, it's basically just an immersion blender, just a tiny drink one. Give this a good, go around. Now the cool thing is, you want to clean this, you can refill your measuring cup with some hot water. This is actually right from the directions. You just put that in there. 
let it whirl, whirl it outside of the water to get it to dry off, hang it back on the rack, and you're good. You're probably gonna want to use, uh, you know, every once in a while, got a little bit of soap and water in your sink, just hot soap and water, just stick down in there, boom, clean, let it dry. Same thing I do with my immersion blender. All right, now that we got that all made up, we're going to add in, because this is what I like to do, I just put a teaspoon of honey. Oh, in a fresh jar. I haven't even gotten into this one yet. I like my matcha a little on the sweeter side. That's why I like to use honey if you're looking for a good sweetener to go in a matcha. All right, that was like a half a teaspoon. Mix it up. Clean it off. Add in your milk, about an equal portion. Looking for like making like a, like a con, no compana as the uh, flat white. Flat white's a half, half and half drink. All right, we got that nice and blended up. Thoroughly mixed. Lean off the thing. Now, if I was going to actually make this at the cafe, I would have put everything in there. Uh, the honey, the matcha, the hot water. Blended it once to get that mixed up, then put this, everything in, blend it up a second time. Not going this whole every step. But anyways, the first sip. Oh, it's good matcha. Like theirs is really fine. And with the blender, and mix it up in there. Uh, some of the other matchas I've used in the past, trying to make an ice matcha, not using the hot water and not uh, having an electric blender to get thoroughly mixed. So you really want to have it mixed, or else you'll get like the little floaty clumps that didn't get mixed in on top. But this matcha is amazing. The blender is amazing. It's all easy to use, easy drink to make at home. I would totally. And it, it's got that texture to it because it is made from a it is powdered uh, tea in here. It's got uh, if you're a texture person, this I know I use whole milk for this, but it tastes now it's got more of a texture similar to an oat milk or other alternative milks. It's got a little bit of that, it's got a little like in a good way sandy. Like this is definitely something that smells clean, it tastes clean, it leaves your mouth feeling clean. It is a good clean drink to get your energy because there is caffeine in here made from tea leaves so that is a banger that is something I would definitely be like you want this on a nice uh, over ice on a nice summer day you want a nice hot one of these on a cold day something nice a little different not your standard two shots of espresso and, or uh, your Basically, your brewed black tea. This is this is what you want. This is the yeah, totally good. And Tenzo, thank you very much uh, for letting your representative give me one of these kits to try out and have here at the house. That's all I got to say today. Definitely go try some Tenzo Macho for yourself, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us for Friday Featurette. This is Fed out. Peace. Hey everybody, thanks for staying till the end of the episode. Uh, remember to like, share, air, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook at Board Barista Productions. And if you want to support us, Patreon link at the bottom.